today's video, we are doing something a little bit different. We are taking my sister, who is a level 10 platinum ice blonde, to red, like a natural, beautiful, vibrant redhead. We are going to be using Shades EQ and then adding in tape and extensions. So I'm going to be showing you a really good way to take a blonde to red without it being too permanent or too damaging when they want to go back. My sister is known to be white blonde, so this is going to be such a fun transformation. Also, don't mind my appearance. We have been in Denver, Colorado for education all weekend, and I look like this because we literally just flew in like an hour ago. So we're just getting going with hair the minute we land. So if you are interested in watching this, stay tuned. Okay, so for this transformation, I am not wanting to use permanent color just because she is a little bit nervous about this and she wants the option to be able to go back blonde pretty easily if she would like to. So we are going to be using Red King Shades EQ today. They have a great selection of reds, coppers, mahoganies, all of those warm, rich tones that we're looking for. So I'm actually going to be using a combination of six different colors to achieve the result that we are looking for. We are going to be matching a specific color of extension, so I'm going to be doing a test strand first to make sure it works, and then we will go full through. So, if you would like to see what I use to mix up, we'll get started. Okay, so since this is just a test strand to begin with, I'm just going to be doing a little bit of each color. So right here we have an 8N. I'm just going to do a little drop of that. 9AA. I'm going to do a little more of that one. 8C. 8WG. just a dash of 7CB. So I just decided to use those five colors for right now. I have about an ounce mixed up, so I'm going to be doing an ounce of processing. We're gonna do a test strand and then see what happens. So I am using a lot of copper, warm, gold, and red tones, and the reason for this is because I want a really pretty dimensional copper, and I don't want it to look flat at all, which is why I'm incorporating five different toners. Well, I'm just doing a test strand. I'm gonna okay. maxi wash it five times after this. Okay. Okay. Did you just get it all over my hair? No. Okay, I just had to include that little clip because it was so funny when I started shaking the toner bottle. It just went everywhere and Kira started panicking. But we are just doing a test run here, leaving it on about five minutes, and then we will go mix up. Okay, you guys, so I am back here now mixing up. The test strand went really well, but it was a little more like orangey than I wanted it to be. So now I know that I need to even out the tones a little bit more. So what I'm going to be doing is using a 9AA. I really like this color because it's a 9 and we want to stay in like the levels 8 and 9. Um, and that's a really pretty one. I'm actually going to do more N because I felt like I needed to neutralize it a little bit more. Now I'm adding a little bit of 8WG. Just a dash of 7CB. And then to finish it off, 8C. Okay, I am starting this color off by Maxi washing her hair. Maxi Wash is a clarifying shampoo from Kevin Murphy. I'm going to be doing this just to remove any buildup or resume from product that she may have and just give us a really nice clean canvas before we start. Now it is time for the color. I was so excited and she was so nervous. So we are just applying it here on wet hair using Redken Shades EQ. Because this is not a cream permanent color, it does not need to be applied on dry hair at the chair. We can do it on wet hair at the bowl. We're going to be leaving this on anywhere from 25 to 35 minutes though, just because we do want a more permanent result. But the nice thing about using shades is it's going to be super easy to kick back through if she would like to go back blonde in the future. Obviously it's red hair, it's not going to be super easy to go back, but it's going to be easier than if it was permanent color. This is the extension color that is the inspiration for what we are doing today. It is a new color from my line Jay-Z Styles Co. and it is called the Beckham Pumpkin Spice. I have been on the search for a natural red-headed copper color and I am so excited to finally launch it and I am so grateful my sister is my guinea pig. All right, you guys, this is the final result of the color. I am dying over how perfect it is. It matches the extensions dead on, and it is such a pretty, vibrant, shiny red, and it looks so natural, too. It doesn't look too fake, and I'm actually really impressed I was able to come up with this formula because I don't do redheads. As you guys know, I have one redhead client, and it's more of like a vibrant violet red, and then I mostly do blondes. So this was a fun challenge for me, and I'm so happy with the way it turned out. 
Now we are just adding in 22 inch extensions from my hair extension line. And as I said before, this is our new color, the Beckham. Super, super excited about it. And I think she pulls it off fabulously. done with this transformation I cannot believe how much I'm obsessed with it I knew this was gonna be amazing on her but I love it so much more than her blonde now maybe that's just me being biased she's still a little freaked out but if you know my sister at all you know that she is like ice queen the core is named after her she's always been white blonde so this is a huge transformation so let us know what you think in the comments below this is one of our new shades in my hair extension line named Beckham so you can purchase that I will leave a link below it's beautiful perfect copper natural redhead um, I love it. I think it turned out perfect. The color match is amazing. Let us know what you think in the comments below. What do you think? I love it. She loves it. She's still a little nervous. <laughs> a little Give nervous. her two weeks. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Have a good day. When I'm with you, I am able to keep pushing my limits and all the trials that I have.